Welcome live to my show here on youtube.com forward slash zero for the show. This show is not live tonight due to a technical issue with my uh, software I use. So thanks to, uh, if I can show you this, you might see my guest in a moment. But before we do that, I wanted to bring uh, this up because I think it's important to show. And it's out of my control um, <laughs> because it is. Uh, for once, uh, I just happened to come across this because I got an error coming up on my uh, on the software. So, if, so I thought it was me, uh, but it wasn't to do with me at all. It was to do with the fact uh, that uh, it's something else. So for once, uh, it's not me. So it just says uh, basically on your screen is that. So that's why I came across on Twitter. We apologize for the inconvenience, but some of our services may be down, might be offline onto Amazon Web Services. It's back online. So a lot of people uh, having issues on Thursday night, uh, including myself. So apologies, we can't bring you that. Uh, but one person who is here anyway, regardless of uh, live or not live, is my guest today. Please welcome back to the show for the first time since December. Uh, 2020, I think it was, wasn't it? December 2020 was the last time you were on this show. A long time ago, almost two years ago. Uh, how how have you been, uh, T.Y.? Uh, nothing's changed, just same old, same old. Same old, same old indeed. I thought we were going to hear that for a second, but I think we can. But, I mean, hopefully now... Uh, just to you know, for anyone who might be listening here, that uh, you have now left the battle tour. Was that your own decision, or was that uh, the, 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 the bosses to be? A bit of a mutual disagree, uh, mutual agreement. I'm not disagreement. Mutual agreement. <laughs> That's understandable. But I mean, uh, so so so, what's next for you? Because I know you were at a a promotion recently uh, called uh, Freedom fight uh, i think is the name of it uh, uh recently early, earlier this month uh how did you prepare uh for the fight and uh how did you get involved with them um well i mean the usual preparation you know fight camp um so as everyone saw my last bellator for everyone that had saw my last bellator fight yeah. um it did away um i still believe it was one of those fights that you know, was very much mine. Um, and I, I think a lot of people can say so as well. Um, I actually broke my hands, broke both my hands in that fight, um, had surgery, and um, I was out for about, I think, four, four months or so. Got back to training. I tore my ACL the first week back to training. Um, and I was out for another four and a half five months it wasn't a full tear no surgery on that but i did tear my uh, tear my knee again i'm um, tear my knee nice. and uh did the rehab i'm off from training again for four and a half months got back to training i believe uh early april beginning of april or so um i knew it was one of those things where i needed i didn't have time to get back into the motion of things i told myself the moment I get back to training I get cleared and my knee is good to go I'm gonna hit it hard like I'm like I've got a fight yeah. um two weeks after two weeks in I asked my management I was like hey let's start looking for a fight I'm ready to go um everything feels you know healthy everything feels right so as soon as I got the okay from that I hit it hard and I started prepar preparing myself for anything that came um we had a few fight offers. I'd say maybe close to, honestly, maybe about a dozen fight offers had fell off in the time between April and the, this last fight um, two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, and it's just it's because I have I've started my career with Bellator and have been with them at such an early stage, um, and because of I guess if you look at my fights on paper, I've all knockout wins. Um, yeah. I've never been until my last fight. <laughs> It, it was it's it's been tough finding opponents to fight me on the regional scene, um, and thankfully um, I did get one the two weeks ago, and well it was good until it wasn't, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
Most definitely. And I have to say as well, uh, how long did you have time to prepare that then for that fight uh, two weeks ago? Did you have like a few weeks notice or did you have a bit, a bit longer than that? From the moment they told me my opponent had agreed, I had about three weeks notice. So two oh, wow. work weeks. Yeah. Two work, <laughs> two, about two and a half work weeks. And yeah, so three and a half weeks total, I'd say. So two and a half weeks of work like mentally preparing for my for an opponent you know uh yeah. like i don't i always stay ready you know you guys know how i am um everyone that knows me like knows that i try to stay ready year round i like short notice fights uh preferably not that short but <laughs> i do like i do short notice you know short notice for me is four work weeks and a fifth week of fight week you know yeah. that's that's a camp for me because i just stay ready and uh yeah it was as soon as they gave me the okay from the my opponent i was like all right we'll 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 prepare mentally for this guy and this this date so it was a go yeah no definitely and uh you know obviously not not as long as you wired it obviously for the notice period and that's probably what played into the match as well into the fight which we all saw and of course uh the powers of be at fight 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 the uh, freedom uh, they actually uploaded the clip of you being knocked out in 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 the uh, in the cage, what you want to call it? Um, one page Jackson commented on that post on Instagram as well. Uh, you know, big name in the MMA and uh, you know Western world. Um, what do you, what was going through your mind? Because you were in control before he had knocked you out. Because I thought you were going to knock him out, and then all of a sudden he just turned it around, and knocked you out in in about a second. You know, you know, so most people don't realize it. That fight was only 15 seconds long. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't so, that long at all. But but you had him at one point then, the first, you know, 10 seconds or so, you were jabbing him. And I thought you were going to knock him out in a second. And then I did not see him going to knock you out in a matter of five seconds or less. Yeah, I dropped him 10 seconds in. It was my second left. The second left I threw hit him perfectly yeah. on the jaw. I, um, You know what? I thought he was out. To be honest, um, but that's no excuse. Uh, I hesitated. Um, I wasn't sure. Like when I finally realized he wasn't out, yeah. and I went to step in to fin- try and make a finish, mm. I hesitated. I wasn't sure whether uh, I should jump on him or stand it back up. And before I knew it, he, you know, threw a hail mary left hand with the same hand that he caught himself with and smoked me with it and it, I, I had no idea what hit me I didn't even see it coming so no no I, nobody nobody in the arena nobody who was watching uh, you know online uh, knew uh, what was going to happen uh, next because it came out of nowhere because I was assuming that the next shot you're going to do a minute ago was going to knock him out but instead he came back with a good punch and KO'd you out but I mean uh, what, what was the reaction afterwards? I, I, I'm guessing your phone blew up from loads of people in the MMA world and other fans of yours were checking on you to make sure you were okay afterwards. Uh, but what was the reaction like? Um, you know, I was I was surprised. I, so, honestly, as of right now, I still don't remember from getting knocked out till I was back in the locker room. Um, he he yeah he smokes me pretty good with it and yeah, um, yeah you he sent you to sleep no offense but you were sleeping yeah. after after that yeah. punch <laughs> a quick nap you know yeah. um no it it's just one of the, you know for me like looking back at it I've watched honestly I've watched that clip and I'm not exaggerating probably over a hundred times now because I'm very I'm bitter about it it's, I'm upset that fight really meant a lot for me to get mm. to win. Because, um, you know, now I'm at a three-fight losing streak. And that and fight really hot for me uh, to get the win. So uh, going back to the locker room after that fight got, was done, I I was more pissed off and upset than anything else. I was almost I was almost in uh, disbelief. I yeah. couldn't believe it happened. Because, you know, like that's the first time I've ever been finished in my fight career. Exactly. Cause, I, because I was going to hopefully just say to you when, when I was going to bring you back when I got out in contact with you, because I, I would wait a few weeks before I reached out to you, you know, kind of into the dust settle. Because originally, when you were going to win, I would have you back on the show a bit sooner. And I would have said to you, still undefeated is you, you know, kind of thing. But, 
you know, no knockouts, but then, of course, that was all ruined thanks to that one guy. And, uh, you know, what a great opportunity he had. You know, he had, he had that one second moment to try and do something, and he, and, and he just had the right punch at the right time, I guess. Yeah, it's you know, uh, everyone that looked at it, I look at it. That's one of those. That's one of those shots you get maybe just maybe once in your career. You know, that's it was one of those hail mary shots that landed, and we we see it all the time in fighting. You know, like somebody throws a random elbow out of nowhere when they're hurt and completely smokes the other guy, and then now they've won the fight. And yeah. You get those once in your career and you know um unfortunately i was on the other end of that one and i'm not saying that was lucky or anything like that um but that was a good shot on his part that was a good recovery and <laughs> i mean well shit luck on my end <laughs> yeah exactly but i mean how have you because uh, you said you've looked at the clip many times and how have you kind of prepare yourself and maybe not make the same mistake again in in in, in your next fight um, you know, I, I do take pride in myself having a good fight IQ. Like, I know when when and where to be and knowing what I should be doing at the right time. Um, those was one of those moments where my fight IQ did not <laughs> come into play. So, moving forward, I mean, you can't really, you can't really look at that fight f for all of that 15 seconds and say, like, there's a lot to fix there. Um, it's just next time around I don't make that mistake I yeah. just make sure you know, either I take that step back and then I'm right back up or on him right away and don't assume that he's out yeah no that's true that's true uh, but I mean who do you want to fight next then is it on your radar who you're wanting to bounce back with, with, with a win anybody you know uh, like I, I always said I'm never going to take the easy route and I'm never going to choose the easy fights um I've said I've said yes to everybody. I don't know the last time I've said no to anybody. I don't think I've said no to anybody. But if I can get an opponent that fits right, obviously, uh, with my career right now being almost in jeopardy at five and four, um, we do need to find the right matchups. Um, but I, I won't. I definitely won't take the easy route. Uh, I'll take I'll take anybody that could actually you know make it a hard fight for me and. I'd, but definitely the one that favors me a little more. Yeah, no, definitely. And I must have to ask as well, can we see you fight before the end of the year is out? Without, what? Of course, if, if, if no injuries or anything pop up, of course, but can we can we see you fight again before the end of the year out and end it with a high? 100% I'll be back by the end of the year. As long as we can get on and we can get an opponent to go, I'm definitely going to be back by the end of the year. I'm looking for hopefully October, uh, possibly November at the latest but I definitely want one 100% before the end of the year um, we've already been speaking to some matchmakers about um, their next shows in October November hopefully we'll see me back in then I'm just I'm on a concussion protocol right now suspended for 30 days no live no um, no head trauma um, so just taking a few a week or two off rest my brain a little bit and I'll be back in the mix yeah, no, no, definitely. You must take your health first, and we want you back at one hundred percent because we don't want you to have any lasting uh, injuries or any lasting damage from uh, two weeks ago. Of course, you know if it, it, it doesn't feel like it's been two weeks, does it? it? Feels like a bit longer than that, but it's come very fast. But uh, have you um, had had anybody uh, from the MMA world, from the people who you know, uh, reach out to you afterwards? Did Rampage Jackson? Uh, reached out to you did the old T O O T S did he reach out to you I know they were both at the event uh, in, nah uh... Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't consider myself on that level yet where they're checking <laughs> on <laughs> but uh, no nah, you know I, my usuals my you know the boys the boys I train with um, all those guys Brad Tavares Maki Pitolo Puno Soriano like all those big name guys and you know just my usual support group uh, they all checked in on me right away and made sure I was good and they they know exactly how this sport is and it's un it's unforgiving sometimes yeah. and they just told me uh, keep my head up and we'll get back on the horse yeah exactly and you know they know they know they've been in, they've been in where you've been and 
you know they've uh, got back up and they've carried on and look at him now you know kind of thing so you do the same and i can't wait and hopefully fingers crossed before the end of the year out we'll see you in another fight a fight where you will get the victory either way either by a knockout a tko submission or even a decision either way we'll get hopefully a great win and hopefully get your year high before the year is out type thing uh now i must mention as well uh, because you also i'm hoping you did watch the ufc in london over the uh, the weekend because i think you're the, the in the semi main event i think it was uh your guy he was in uh the f in, in in one of the best well not the best for the night uh with the fans on the internet and and the arena uh, <laughs> you could tell but i mean were you quite proud of seeing your guy in london uh, over the weekend oh yeah for sure um you know oh curtis right we're, yeah. talking, we're talking about yeah that's um, right yeah. curtis man that dude really really works hard you know um i love the guy he he got done with his last fight um and he's like hey, you he came back and told me he's like i'm here i'm here for you like i'm not here for any other reason than you right now to help you out and get back in there i'm get ready for your your fight in two weeks um and i was like bro like go home like have have a good meal that you deserve and go home play some video games or something and relax and he said no nah, i'm here to work let's get back to it uh, i'm here to help you out oh, that's nice. and you know uh, that dude deserves everything good that comes his way uh he works so hard he's a great guy um team player in the gym he's always there for every, all, of, all of us you know not only me <laughs> and uh, unfortunately the fight did go the way it did um I am, I'm actually friends with Jack as well. Uh, I like Jack, but I'm much closer to Curtis, so, you know, obviously I'd have to root for him. Of course, of course. But, I mean, at least, at least, at least you know both guys as well. It's quite good yeah. if you want to face either one, even though in the UK you would not face Curtis, obviously, because you're quite close, obviously. But no, that's still quite cool, though, because usually, usually um, with two fighters, you know, usually you don't only know one of them, so it's quite good you know both. So that's quite good. Yeah. Both both are both guys are great, um, but you know it was unfortunate that the fight was the way it was. It was yeah. very, very uh, well. Let's say not entertaining. Yeah, exactly right. And again, that's not because of the fighters. It's just the way. Uh, what's the way I'm looking for? Uh, the fighting style. Uh, it was game plan. You know, yeah. I respect. I respect Jack doing what he did to get the win. He's in a place where he needed the win. Mm. Um, you know, if he wants to still be a part of that title contention, um, and you know, I, I I understand and I respect the game plan, but as an enter as me being being an entertainer, I like to fight right and go out on my shield, win or lose. So, yeah. um, but like I said, it's that's just preference. You know, if you're in a spot where you need to keep winning and you do to choose the easiest path to victory, that's one hundred percent. Uh, understandable and agreeable you know when you're the champion you don't you don't go out there to really entertain you go out there to keep winning fights that's what you're that's what you're supposed to do and i also like about how jack said after the fight that he hopes that the the crowd and people watching around the world had a better main event than the one they just saw and of course the main event he kind of jinxed the main event because oh my. aspinall yeah as i'm sure you saw uh only lasted 15 seconds just as long as your fight uh, but he, uh, of course, had a bad injury which happened to him. It wasn't to his, uh, to his knee or leg. Uh, wasn't yeah. to, it wasn't very good. I stayed up to 11 p.m. my time to watch this great fight. And it was a disappointment. I could have gone to bed at half 10 after that uh, semi-main event, you know. <laughs> but, um, you know, of course, hopefully Aspinall is on the mend and uh, I wish him all the best. But, I mean, you know, it was just a build-up. It was all there, you know. It was hyped. Yeah. And then it all just I came crashing down. I like the way he fights so for him to have gone out the way he did was really uh disappointing and mm. sad you know, freak injuries like that you know we're starting to see it more more often than yeah. not so, um you know like i've me being a fighter that's had many injuries i've had three back-to-back -back surgeries now all from fights um you know we all just gotta take care of our bodies more and make it more of a priority you know yeah uh, most definitely can't do what we love if our body don't work so no. we might as well body you know? <laughs> and i believe when, when we last chatted i think it was uh 
I think you were having just came back or you're going to have some surgery on your foot, if I remember, because it was your foot surgery I think you just had uh, when we yep. chatted last. We had you have a foot injury, then three back to back, to back, back uh, surgeries as well. So, yeah, it's been the, not not luck on your side at the moment, is it really? I'm hoping the, the luck will now change for you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope so, too. You know, I'm really looking forward to getting back in the win, uh, the win column yeah. and put uh put together a few wins and make this push for the ufc uh i went i started my career four and all um with all knockouts and if anyone can do it and get back on track it's i'm definitely one of those people so uh, i'm looking to get back in there as soon as possible get a win and start making some noise again my way yeah exactly and, and of course your friend curtis i must mention as well uh i saw the social media post he shared on instagram of him and of course molly you know, having a great interaction behind the scenes at UFC London when she was kind of drunk after uh, celebrating uh, Paddy's uh, knockout or no submission win uh, at UFC London uh, last Saturday. Uh, quite an entertaining video. And of course, you need to get together with Molly as well. I think you three will have a great time, I think. I'd love to have, it, have a beer at Meatball. It seems like she'd be a heck of a lot of fun at the bar. <laughs> Yeah, most definitely. I know. Just drink beers all night. That's, yeah. that's my... <laughs> <laughs> um, of course, if what we must mention as well, like the last time you were on the show, uh, this happened on my show last time uh, on December 2020. I'm sure you remember this moment because you remember seeing this, but before the viewers out there, uh, you will remember this moment, I'm sure, and uh, I will get a uh, tired reaction to it in just a moment. Back and they can yes, because uh, uh, as I was saying to you as well, uh, because I want to know as well before we end this as well. We, I can see uh, there's, there's somebody behind your truck. I can see. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, bizarre. This, this, is, this is live. Anything can happen live on my show. We've had many things happen on the show before over the live. Are, are you on a <laughs> beach or somewhere? No, no, I'm actually right outside of the. Gym. Oh, why? Right, okay, because because the background yeah. it, it looks like you've got the sunny skies and then you're like, you're like like in a behind a beach you know kind of thing but uh, i wish there was a beach there. <laughs> there we go there we go um and i was gonna say before we got interrupted by that by the lady behind you there uh whoever she may be um <laughs> i was gonna say that okay uh that's actually um casey o'neill she just got signed by the ufc okay as well. well there you go casey o'neill making a, a cameo appearance here on the earth Father show so that was the uh, the clip from December 2020 when uh, Casey uh, appeared in the video. I think because you were outside the gym at the time. I'm glad you're inside for this one. I, I, I'm glad because I might get some in, more cameos from other people. Uh, but uh, of course, Casey, uh, the, reason, the reason I played that video is because I know Casey's been doing big things in the UFC now since signing, uh, as you said, back then in December of 2020. And of course, she's been uh, seen uh, recently or, you know, not, not too far distance from now with the style bender you know uh, that that's like a cool uh, person to hang out with uh i you know have you had a chance to uh, hang out with the style bender so uh the night we were well the night that it was after her fight with roxanne in houston um we were all there um she she went over and spoke to him we were all at the we had the same cabana area um she just was wandering around you know post fight everyone wants to speak to you um, <laughs> that night and then uh the other night when he fought uh jared jared and yeah. um uh, alex bokanowski fought um we were out there with them that night as well um casey was telling me that I, I was off to the side i like to you know i don't really like to be in big crowds so <laughs> um, they were out in the with all the crowd and whatnot and she she was telling me that uh style bender was like where's your boyfriend and i'm like hide, tucked away hiding somewhere not trying to <laughs> Not trying to be, well, oh, that's me. I'm, I'm the anti antisocial one in the group, so I, when we're, I'm the one tucked away in the corner and just minding my own. <laughs> but I'm glad, though, it's quite surprising that he knows who you are as well, which is very cool as well. Yeah, yeah, no, I've heard good things about him. Um, I've met him briefly at the UFC PI uh, years ago. Um, he, he's, he's a cool guy, you know. Uh, I haven't really got to sit down and really speak to him, but mm -hmm. I've heard. Bottom, so 
That's the main thing. I'm sure he's heard great things about you. Or or maybe you were maybe a bit scared to approach him in case he might offer you to fight him. Nah, nah. <laughs> I, might, I might make that number uh, number one contender spot. He'll be long gone, so. Yeah, yeah. I, well. I look forward to taking a piece from his, uh, taking a page from his book one day and, you know see how it works for me and making my way up to the top yeah no i don't don't blame you there because uh you know he's a great athlete isn't he you know he does some great things in in the octagon and uh, you know uh still a champion as well which is great to see um but i mean as well uh you know your girlfriend's doing great things at the moment uh do you think you you see her fight again before the year is out uh no she's still recovering from that aco uh aco injury um I think she's about 12 weeks post up now. Um, I think she's eyeing a February return. Okay. So when that comes, uh, you know, I expect a lot of big things again from her. She's she's doing really well, and you know, I don't know, I don't really know anybody that's more driven driven in this sport than she is. So expect a lot of good things from her coming back from this recovery, and. Um, you know, very well we could see her as the number one contender here soon. Yeah, in a few years. yeah, most definitely. Maybe this time next year she could be the champion for all we know as well. Because I know you and you and Casey uh, have great work ethics, and and that's why you, you have a great bond and you know uh, similar minds. Yeah, yeah. Um. So, 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 what is your um, diet like then at the moment? Uh, me. Yeah, uh, yeah you. <laughs> Burgers and lots of steaks. <laughs> ah, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I'm... Any... Okay. Uh, before the, f- I haven't had a beer in almost two and a half or three months, so <laughs> I was, I could not wait to have that beer. <laughs> I bet you couldn't. I bet you couldn't. And of course, we should mention as well. You can find uh, my guest on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. His links are on the screen. Are you on any other? Uh, uh, yes, because uh, as I was saying as well. Uh, uh, and Twitter is my main two. Um, if you find yeah, you're verified Facebook. on there now as well, which is quite very really good to see. I'm still yeah. for some reason everybody's getting verified at the moment. Did you fill in something? Am I missing something here to get verified on Twitter? Uh, uh, um, Bellator actually took care of it for me after. Uh, um, good to know, then. <laughs> I believe it was after my fight with Dalton. My, okay. So that was my third fight with Bellator. So. Uh, yeah, they they took care of, took care of it after that fight, and I guess I made some noise, made enough noise to get a little bit of recognition. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good, it's good that you verified. It just shows that, that that is the true you now. It's great to see, but yeah, because it, it's very good. It means that more people I know who's verified on Twitter, so that's good to see. And of course on Instagram as well, uh, and of course you're on Facebook. It's the, the only site where you're not verified is Facebook. So hopefully, it will be too long away before you get verified on there. So do you do you do the uh, the old TikTok as well, or are you on know, people do like? Eh. Uh- I can't get into that. Oh, um, you can search up just Ty Gwitter on on TikTok. Um, it's not really anything I don't post on Instagram already. It's just the reels, obviously. Yeah. Um, I don't use it as much as probably everyone says I should, since that's the new it thing. Yeah, um, the new it thing. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I mean, who who who's been telling you to go on to TikTok more? Then is it is it at your close family, or is it or or is it other uh, you know people you train with? Um, people that I know that are doing well, um, like that are verified and whatnot. Um, I've heard that there's more money to make on TikTok as well. So um, because it's more, it's almost taking over Instagram as far as um, you know sponsorships and marketing yourself. I think. Um, I think they're just trying to get me to use it more often and give myself better chance of making more money on other incomes other than fighting. <laughs> yeah, no, no, makes sense, makes sense. You know, you've got a marketing face, and uh, you should use it while you can. Um, you know, to go into other things as well. What are what do you do in your free time? And when you're not uh, training or having to prepare for a fight, then how do you relax and uh, chill out from things? Then? You know, I don't do too much. Um, I mean, Vegas is hard to do a lot. I'm an outdoorsman. I really love the outdoors. I like to. I used to. Well, when I used to live in Hawaii back home, I uh, just surfed, went spear fishing a lot. Um, you know, now that I'm here in the desert, we don't really have much. Nope. Then going. <laughs> going to the lake um, I do try to get to the lake and the river a bit 
we still do that uh, spear fishing at um uh, at the river and we'll go cliff um, cliff jumping over at the lake and uh, um yeah and if not i'm just at home hanging out playing video games uh playing the old war zone like everybody else <laughs> yeah yeah no, very, very very popular game in the moment and i must mention as well i forgot to mention about this but i mean do you do you do uh, the the whole uh, streaming business on twitch or not nah nah i'm not that good so uh <laughs> i think casey it. does doesn't she i think she does uh ish ish she she does it for well she got sponsored i believe by uh was a uh, call of duty uh wow. recently that's great uh, that's good that. she, doesn't, uh, she doesn't play a lot but she attempts to play yeah she doesn't do anything but she'll she'll see me up here playing on the computer and she'll jump in for a game or two <laughs> i know a person who calls it a game as well my brother calls uh the console's uh, computer as well which is it's obviously not the correct term, people. Come on, yeah. get with it. It's called a console, not a computer. I always have to have the same thing, but yeah. I, I play Warzone on PC, so. Yeah. That's good to know as well, because you can play on PC, but I don't know if you can actually do I, I know you can do it on. You can play it on either. Like, like say you've got a friend who's got a PlayStation, and you got a friend on Xbox, yeah. and you can merge them together. I don't know if you can do it on PC as well. I'm not sure. Can now. Oh, you can. That's good. That's good. Yep. See, I like all this new technology. More right. games should do that, shouldn't they? You know, allow uh, different. You know, different people got different. You know, consoles and PCs to join together. Yeah, yeah. It's quite good, that. But there, there you go. Um, as well, I just mentioned as well before we end this. Uh, you know, you have to get me in contact with uh, your girlfriend Casey. That but her on the show to show that clip we played for you again uh, earlier on because it'd be great to have her on the show. Oh yeah, definitely. She, I don't think she's doing any right now, just because of the. Oh um, no, of course, yeah, yeah, no, mate, no, no, <laughs> don't blame her for that. <laughs> she's got nothing to talk yeah. about. <laughs> yeah. She gets uh, bombarded with a whole lot when. Oh yeah, uh, oh, no. Going so she just like uh, lets our management, you know, take care of it. Yeah, so. no, no, makes sense. Just, just get me in contact with uh, her management team, and then when she's back, <laughs> when your next fight is announced, whenever that might be. Then I'll reach out to her people and see if we can make something official. Sense. But yeah, as always, as always, it's been a pleasure being on the show as always. And, you know, we wish you the best of luck uh, with Great. your next fight, hopefully before the end of the year is out. And hopefully you have a positive uh, result as well to end the year on, on a high. And I hope it won't be too long before we'll see you here in the UK. Yeah, uh, Hopefully soon. I'm looking forward to it. I'm trying to make my way out there. Good, good to see. Well, we will have to have you back on the show soon. And again, this will come out, um, you know, tomorrow, which is today now when this is posted. So because of our little difficulty at the start of the show, uh, due to the fact that uh, <laughs> for some reason, um, the Streamlabs software, which we use to broadcast the show live usually on YouTube, decided to crash because apparently due to Amazon Web Services being uh, offline. I've never heard that before, but there you go. Something new, uh, which is stopping this show to be in broadcast live tonight. They must have knew that you'd be on the show and they don't want people coming in and giving you live questions. So they thought, let's just take the old thing offline <laughs> instead. But yeah. <laughs> but no, thank you very much. And uh, until the next episode drops, make sure to like, share, comment, and of course, subscribe. Until the next episode drops, enjoy the West of your first or of your friday afternoon or evening wherever you are